Stephen Sachs, and I'm thrilled that you're interested in SATPAC. It's been a powerful tool for me in my work, and I'm really happy to make it available to you. I'll let Bob tell you more about it. Hi, I'm Bob Ollie, one of the developers of SATPAC. SATPAC is an acronym for Systematic Articulation Training Program Accessing Computers. I'd like to give you a little background about how SATPAC was developed. In 1994, Dr. Richard Schein, a professor at East Carolina University, came to Fresno, California and gave a workshop. In it, he described using facilitating contexts to remediate articulation deficits. Based on the work of Dr. Eugene McDonald, the developer of the McDonald Deep Test of Articulation, Dr. Schein had developed a series of CVC CVC nonsense words that systematically moved the error sound from the facilitating context farther and farther away until it was remediated. As a result of this workshop, the Fresno Unified School District decided as a department to adopt the system. However, it soon became clear that the system was not workable. It took between one and two hours per student to develop the lists. With high case loads and limited time, the system was soon abandoned. It was at this point that my friend Stephen Sachs, a speech-language pathologist with the Fresno Unified School District, came to me and asked if I could help develop a computer program to generate the lists. Shortly thereafter, I had developed a prototype, which Steve began to use very effectively. Lists that used to take hours to generate could now be built by the computer in only seconds. At that point, we recruited Manuel Perea, another professional software developer. Manuel helped to upgrade the prototype into a full-scale professional software application. He also developed and continues to support our website. In November 2000, after six years and over 5,000 hours of development, SATPAC was finally distributed to therapists throughout the Fresno Unified School District, where they currently use it with great success. So what is SATPAC? Its purpose is to remediate deficits quickly and efficiently through production training using facilitating contexts. Target sounds are first established, then generalized and transferred through the use of lists generated by the computer program. Because SATPAC is systematic and stresses co-articulation and natural prosody from the earliest phases, students quickly meet their goals. This is the SATPAC procedures checklist. The therapist uses this checklist to keep track of a student's progress. The SATPAC program involves three major phases. The first phase is the establishment phase. During this time, the student develops competence using the seed word in successively more difficult contexts. The generalization phase is where the student learns to say the target sound in various phonetic contexts. And during the transfer phase, the student transfers the skills learned in the previous work into phrases and sentences using real words until conversational competence is attained. There is also a maintenance phase after the program is completed. This is the main screen of the SATPAC program. The first thing you're likely to want to do is print the procedures checklist. To do so, select the procedure checklist option from the view menu. The program will open the Procedures Checklist document in Adobe Acrobat where you can view and print it. Before the student begins SATPAC, an articulation assessment is completed. Sounds that were less than 50% accurate are identified and targeted for remediation. Before beginning this establishment phase, the therapist chooses an error sound and then finds or develops a facilitating context at the CVC-CVC syllable junction. SATPAC supports this process by offering a list of suggested seed words for use with various types of errors and phonological processes. To view this list, select Seed Word Suggestions from the View menu. SATPAC will open an Adobe Acrobat file containing possible seed words that you can view or print. Here are the suggested seed words which facilitate correct productions. For example, if the student has a frontal lisp, the word beat-seek is often used. The t being lingual alveolar facilitates correct s production because s is also lingual alveolar. The other sounds in the words also have a purpose and were chosen with co-articulation in mind. The leading b involves no tongue positioning. 
The E sound has the tongue tense and wide in the perfect position to make the T and S sounds. There is minimal movement back to the second E, and finally the K moves the tongue back, making it difficult to lisp. There are often times that one cannot find a facilitating context, or a context is found, but the student is very inconsistent. This suggests that oral motor issues are present, which need to be dealt with before proceeding with sat pack. Again, using the frontal lisp as an example, for a successful S sound, the student must anchor his tongue touching the sides of the tongue to the top molars, like this. The sides of the tongue stay still, while only elevating the tongue tip for the lingua alveolar T and S sounds, like this. E. E. It should be noted that the sides of the tongue in this video are not perfectly positioned here, but were filmed this way to increase visibility. In reality, the sides should be anchored against the insides of the top molars. If this oral motor issue is not dealt with before sat pack begins, once the student begins saying S at a rapid rate, the lisp will return. Appropriate oral motor skills are critical to success. If there are no facilitating contexts, oral motor work will be a necessary precursor. Once the student is successful using the CVC-CVC facilitating context, charting can begin on the SATPAC procedures checklist. Folders can be kept for each individual student with the checklist attached and the lists printed inside. We begin with the establishment phase, which involves seven steps. The student needs 19 correct productions of the seed word out of 20 tries before moving to the next step. In step one, all sounds are prolonged, as in beat, seek. In step two, the student prolongs the target phone like this, beat, seek. For step three, the word is said normally, beat, seek. In step four, the student stresses the syllable containing the target phone, beat, seek, beat, seek, beat, seek etc. Step 5 reverses the stress to the syllable without the target, beat seek, beat seek, beat seek, etc. Step 6 involves repetition of phrases or short sentences. It is recommended that four phrases be said five times each. Common phrases are my beat seek, beat seek no, on a beat seek, and a beat seek one. The seventh and final step involves sentences of varying linguistic stress. Again, four sentences are repeated five times each. A boy bought a new beat seek, a boy bought a new beat seek, a boy bought a new beat seek, and a boy bought a new beat seek. After the target sound has been successfully established, it needs to be generalized. It's at this point that the computer generated lists come into play. Note the seed word beat seek and how the chosen target sound is highlighted in yellow. The SATPAC program is unique in that any sounds not in the student's repertoire or sounds which may interfere with the target sound can be excluded. For this particular student, the TH sounds are excluded as they interfere with the target S, and the R sound is excluded because it's not in the student's repertoire. SATPAC also automatically excludes the cognate of the target sound from all the lists it generates. The generalization phase involves using the target sound S and moving farther and farther away from the facilitating beat seek context. After completing nine lists, the student can use the S sound in any context. Each list is just a bit more difficult than the preceding one. If you're interested in the specific construction of each list, see the help file. Here they are. For this example, list 1 systematically varies the first syllable, and list 2 varies the first syllable randomly. List 3 varies the second syllable systematically, while List 4 does the same thing randomly. List 5 varies both syllables, and List 6 begins to systematically vary the facilitating sound that abuts the target consonant. List 7 randomly varies the facilitating sound, and List 8 provides essentially random practice. List 9 uses sentences to help the student practice the target sound in the context of conversational stresses. It is important that the lists be said at a brisk rate in order for transfer to real conversation to occur.
Observing articulation therapy in general, practice is too slow. The student says, I like soup. I need my sock. Then they leave the session and say at their normal rate, see you later, I'm going to reset. I use a metronome and work up to 140 beats per minute before proceeding to the next list. It's a good idea to leave a few beats in between words to allow the therapist and the student time to process the response. It also gives the therapist time to look at the next word on the list. This is my student Justine. Hello. When we do a sat pack list, I hold the list up in front of her mouth so that I can watch both her mouth and list at the same time. When appropriate, the student can hold up a mirror in order for maximum visual feedback. I keep track of the errors in my head or on my fingers. If she makes more than four errors on this list, she is not ready to move on and must continue at this level. I get a baseline for each list where I just measure the percentage of correct responses and give no feedback. I keep a folder for each of my SATPAC students. On the inside I have the procedures checklist where I document their progress. And then on the other side I keep the lists of the words. The rate at which you begin is determined by how fast the student can say the words. Justine will be, will be beginning at 100 beats per minute using the metronome. During the practice sessions, it's very important to give consistent feedback. The student's responses are assumed to be correct unless I otherwise call her attention to it. Beat, seek. Beat, seek. Good. Mit, seek. Mit, seek. Good. Wait, seek. Wait, seek. No, your tongue came out on that one. Let's try it again. Wait, seek. Wait, seek. Good. Fet, seek. Fet, seek. Good. Etc. Now we're going to say the words at 140 beats per minute using the metronome. If Justine is 80% accurate on this list, she's ready to move on to the next list. Are you ready? Yeah. Beat seek. Beat seek. Good. Mit seek. Mit seek. Good. Wait seek. Wait seek. Good. Fet seek. Fet seek. Good. Good. Etc. The first eight lists are all constructed with single CVC CVC words. List nine is different. List nine uses sentences. Different words are emphasized at different times in order to de-emphasize putting the stress on the target sound. Because principles of co-articulation and natural prosodic patterns are stressed, the student will transfer the target sound into conversational speech more rapidly than with traditional articulation therapy. Ready, Justine? Yes. Okay. Now these are the sentences. And your sentence is, a boy bought a new beat seek. Okay. okay. When I change part of the sentence, that will be the part that you stress. Okay? Okay. I bought a new beat seek? No, a boy bought a new beat seek. Good. A boy sold a new beat seek? No, a boy bought a new beat seek. Good. A boy bought an old beat seek? No, a boy bought a new beep seek. Good. A boy bought a new beep seek? No, a boy bought a new beep seek. Good. There are four other sentences that are done in a similar fashion. Now the establishment and generalization phases are complete for the S in the pre-vocalic position, seek. Some students will need to repeat the whole process with the S in the post-vocalic position, as in be steak. However, most will transfer and this won't be necessary. Just be aware that the checklist is set up to support both the pre- and post-vocalic positions and it's sometimes necessary to do both. Some students after the generalization phase are using their target sound beautifully and are done with the program. 
Most need practice transferring their successes to more difficult contexts. This is why the transfer phase was developed. To access the transfer phase, select the Transfer Phase tab on the SatPak main screen just above the seed word. To get the lists, check the boxes corresponding to the phrases, sentences, and contrasting sentences for the appropriate target sound. The example shown is for the frontal lisp target sound, S. The first task is to master the phrase lists. The target sound is in short two to three word phrases in both the pre- and post-vocalic positions. Every phonetic context involving a budding consonance is present. For example, the S list begins with soft whisper and knapsack mess. Note in soft whisper, the S is post-vocalic, abutting against the P. In knapsack mess, the S is pre-vocalic, abutting against the P. This pattern continues with B next, then T, D, K, G, etc., using the place and manner of articulation chart and moving from the stops, fricatives, affricates, etc. Like the other lists, the phrases are modeled at the rate to be repeated. If the student is 80% accurate, he proceeds to the next step, the sentences list. If not, there is more practice with this list and other materials using phrases. The sentence lists have at least three examples of the target sound and should be said at least at a slow conversational rate. Again, 80% accuracy is required before proceeding to the contrasting lists. Contrasting lists are the final lists in the program. These include the target sound mixed in with difficult contexts or the phonological process error. For this example, with the frontal lisp, there is a list that is loaded with S and TH sounds. For a person with a fronting problem, there is a list with lots of K, G, T, and D sounds. Again, 80% accuracy at at least a slow conversational rate is the goal. The transfer phase continues with activities which involve real practice, such as reading from classroom texts and answering questions, or having conversations on various topics both in and outside of the therapy room. Students who can continue with 80% accuracy are done with the program. A maintenance phase involving stability checks on the target sound over the next four weeks is a good idea to make sure that the student has maintained progress. If so, the student is dismissed. Thanks very much for watching our video. For more information, you can contact me directly at info at setpackspeech.com or check out our website at www.setpackspeech.com.